Cushing's Bookshelf, episode 24. The Good Soldier Schweik by Yaroslav Hoshik. And uh, welcome back to Cushing's Bookshelf. This week's book comes to us from the Czech language, if you haven't been able to tell by the, uh, the, by the names I just read. Um, you know, originally written in Czech, was translated um, into English and originally came out in English in 1973 um, and was reissued in uh, 2018. So this is the book, The Good Soldier Schwenk. Um And what can I tell you about it? Well, right now I've like literally just dipped in. I uh, Today I read the introduction and just got a couple of pages into the book itself. Um, this is a book that was mentioned to me by my husband, and he uh, really has encouraged me to read it over the years. I'm finally giving it a, a shot. And, uh, you know, the little bit I know about the author from having read the introduction uh, makes it sound like I'm probably in for a good uh, treat. Um, you know, like, uh, I'll just read the first paragraph of the introduction. Uh, it says, Yaroslav Hashik, the author of The Good Soldier Schweik, was a true bohemian within the meaning of the term la bohème, but a very untypical Czech. The son of an impoverished schoolmaster who drank himself to death, he was left at the age of 13 without adequate parental control and quickly acquired the tastes and habits of a hobo or beatnik. <laughs> um, and I think the references to beatniks probably dates the translation um, just a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's it, when I understand this is dark, uh, darkly funny, satirical, but also really nasty um, and um, has to do with this character, Schwenk, uh, and his adventures uh, in World War One. So I'm looking forward to getting into this further. I love the, the Czech... Um, or the Bohemian, because this is, I guess, the political boundaries and names of the countries have changed. But when um, Hashik was uh, writing, I, I think he was born, the area he was born in was called Bohemia at one point. Um, and, uh, and so, but there's something about books from that area, Central Europe, you know, kind of um, the area the, of, you know, uh, where what is now the Czech Republic and whatnot. Uh, in those other countries in that area of Central Europe that uh, I really love their take on fiction. Um, you know, it's just so, they have this darkness, but they also have this humor and they also have this anxiety a lot of times running through them. And uh, they don't mind being really, you know, kind of like vicious occasionally or, or just kind of like, you know, like in this nastiness, this kind of like, you know. So, and of, of course, um, I mean, there's a rich literary tradition, um, you know, going all the way up to the present day and uh, Milan Kundera. So uh, that same kind of satirical spirit or kind of like taking oneself kind of half seriously, even very serious subject matter, uh, playfulness. And I'm looking forward to dipping into this further. So um, with that, I will leave you for the week. Take care and I'll talk to you again soon.